So we have no water coming out of this tap right now. I'm not sure what the deal is. Okay, now it's coming back out. What the hell was that? <clears throat> Very strange. You just saw that water suddenly stop and then come back out. It's right around 11.15 a.m. on Wednesday, September 18th. We were never told by management that there would be a water outage. Oh yeah, look, now it's not coming out again. Check this out. It's this... Look, no water. No water. <laughs> it's a trickle. Okay, so now it's coming out again. What the hell's going on here? Oh, okay, no water. Check this out. Okay, this is on, this is off. On, off, on. There's no water. This is completely maximum on. Look at this. There's no water. Hmm. There is no water coming out of this tap. Isn't that strange? <laughs> I just called Greenville like 10 minutes ago about the violent psycho thug career hate stalking anti-white warrior ass wipe directly below me, slamming and banging things below my bed as soon as I went over to my bed after using the bathroom down the hall and he was also slamming things outside of my door as I was unlocking my door trying to get back from the common bathroom he did the exact same thing to me last night when I get, got back to the building after being out for 14 hours and now there's no water this place is completely insane nothing works here and the inmates are literally running the asylum the Greenville group chooses to house large numbers of criminally insane sex offenders and other career thugs and they're constantly affecting the functionality of the infrastructure of this building. A lot of them have criminal abilities that appear to fall within the range of tampering with plumbing, uh, contaminating the water supply to the building, shutting off the heat to certain units, but not others. And now there's no water. Check this out. This is how you turn the water on. So this is off, okay? This is on. It's a bare trickle that you should never see when the volume is on maximum for an open tap. Well, you know what? I hate to have to call Greenville twice in 15 minutes, but this is their building. This is their circus. This is their monkeys. Has nothing to do with me. I'm just minding my own business, trying to use the uh, premises as they are supposed to provide, right? Your landlord by law has to provide safe, functional, uh, healthy living space right? That doesn't have lead paint or violent psychopaths slamming things against the walls or assaulting you at your door for no reason or contaminated tap water. But the Greenville group cannot provide this. They are completely dysfunctional, criminal, incompetent, and deliberately shady and sketchy. They deliberately refuse to make repairs or to address health and safety issues, not just in this unit, but for the rest of the building. I had to call inspectional services in July because the entire rear stairwell area was completely polluted with giant bags of trash that had been sitting there for weeks from other floors and other tenants, not me, and giant piles of rubbish and junk and old equipment that nobody was cleaning up. It was a total hazard and they were issued a citation by inspectional services. All right, so why is there no water coming out of this tap? Even though the uh, knob is completely turned on to full volume, <clears throat> Wow. There's no water. Look at this. No water. I'm trying to fill up a water bottle and there's literally no water coming out of this tap. All right. Well, you know what? Let's just see what's going on in the bathroom down the hall. Hopefully I won't get physically assaulted by the violent psycho thug directly below 76 who likes to come up to my floor for no reason in the middle of the day because he's got no fucking life and hate stalks people who he doesn't like. He claims to be an anti-white warrior. Makes him a racist as well as a sexist because he's got issues with women. So maybe he... We'll stay on his floor. What is going on in this fucking place? Okay, so there's no water. Yeah, there's no water. Wow. Greenville is not providing water to its bathrooms. Huh, that's strange. They never told us there was going to be a water outage today. I was gone for 14 hours yesterday, did not see a notice anywhere on the front door or at my door when I came back. I stopped by the office yesterday morning right when I left at 9.25 a.m. Nobody notified me they would not be providing water to any of the units on the fourth floor today. 
but obviously they're not. Well, when your landlord is a criminally negligent slumlord who deliberately rents to large numbers of mentally disturbed, behaviorally challenged career criminals, and he's placed three of those career criminals and all three adjacent units to yours while claiming that this building is for people who have no behavioral problems and who work to pay their rent, uh, well, then nothing is off limits. Anything is possible. Right now, there's no water. And now I have to leave a third voicemail for the Greenville group in the last 12 hours. I called them at midnight last night after getting back to the building following a day of 14 hours of being out and the violent psycho thug anti-white warrior directly below me started slamming and banging things in the hallway outside of his door directly below my door when I was in the uh, hallway trying to access my door after getting back to the building. He did the same thing this morning, approximately 15, 20 minutes ago after I came back from using the common bathroom down the hall. Now there's no water at all. As you just saw, it's not just this unit. It's also the bathroom down the hall. Of course, they're not going to answer their phone. It's the middle of a busy workday. Why in the world would Greenville answer the phones during normal business hours? Press one for maintenance, press two. Interest in selling a property, press three. For the office directory, press four or press zero for the front desk. <laughs> Unreal. You're seeing incompetence at work. Thank you for calling the Greenville Group. How can I help you? Um, yes, I'm calling because over the last 12 hours, uh, the violent psycho thug directly below me in 76 has become behaviorally disturbed and is repeatedly slamming and banging things uh, in the hallway outside of his door. Last night when I got back to the building after being out for 14 hours, he went out to the hallway and started repeatedly slamming things in the area of his hallway directly below my door when I was trying to unlock my door. And then he started slamming things against the floor below my bed as soon as I walked over to my bed after getting into my unit for being out for 14 hours. And he started doing the same thing again approximately 15, 20 minutes ago after I got back from using the common bathroom down the hall. Uh, this person obviously has issues with violence and with women. Um, is there any way you can move him to another unit where he won't be slamming things against my floor and against the walls below my bed? Are you calling the cops? Uh, yeah, I called the police last week because he was doing this at 3.30 in the morning and again at 5.30 in the okay, morning. Okay, so then you need to give us the police reports, okay? Um, yeah, the other so issues. Go- okay, there's no water right now to this to the fourth floor. Is there a reason why there's no water coming out of any of the taps right now? This is the first I'm hearing about it, so I'll have a maintenance check. Yeah, there's no water to my unit or to the bathroom down the hall right now. Okay, I, I'll I have, have a maintenance check. Okay, great. Thank you. No Still no water. Check this out. So it's the cold water. So there's hot water, but there's no cold water. Look, there's no cold water. (sighs) There's no cold water. So there's hot water. This is the hot water, but there's no cold water. So you can't do anything anyway. I mean, the water, the hot water is boiling hot. Yeah, no water. Check this out. She didn't believe me. This is the first I've heard about it. Well, yeah, it doesn't mean that something isn't happening. And this is just blazing hot water. So when you try to turn it to cold, nothing comes out. Do you see that? This is the cold water. This is how much cold water comes out of this tap right here. So again, let's go down the hall to the common bathroom. There we go again. (laughs) Violent ass wipe. (laughs) So again, this is on, this is off. On, off, there's no water. But there's hot water. But there's no cold water, so this is off. See this? Off. On. No water. (laughs) Yeah, that's what happens. Look, there's no water. No cold water. But then if you turn the hot water knob, 
it's all hot. It's blazing, boiling hot. And then the cold water is off. There's no cold water. See? So, there you go. Scientifically proven. Okay. Proven my case. There's no hot, there's no cold water coming out of my tap or the bathroom down the hall. So nobody can take a shower because you can't shower in boiling hot water, which is the only water that seems to be coming out of any of these taps right now, is the hot water. So again, this is the cold water. Nothing's coming out. This is the hot water. And it's really, really hot. So you don't want to stick your hand under there. You're going to get a burn. And there's no cold water. See? On, off. On, off. On, off. On. No water. You turn it to hot, it's hot, but it's really, really scalding hot. So you don't want to do anything with that scalding water. And you certainly can't shower or get ready. Why is there no cold water at 11.15, 11.20 on a Wednesday morning when probably a lot of people need to get ready to leave for their, you know, midday shifts or whatever right now? Why is the Greenville Group not providing cold water to this floor, apparently? Okay, so we're now in my bathroom, which I haven't been using very much lately because due to the pest control visits, I've had to store a lot of stuff in here. Um, so right now my shower is a storage area. I have moved my closet into the shower. Yeah, there's no, there's no hot water. I mean, there's no cold water. Check this out. Nothing happens. This knob is useless. And then you try to turn on the hot water and there's hot water and it's literally boiling, boiling hot boiling hot. Look, no cold water. Nothing comes out. Again, they don't believe me when I tell them these things. Really? Why don't they just go turn on one of the knobs on the taps in this building? But see, they just, oh, so now this knob is completely not working at all. Hmm. Okay, so now what the hell is going on with that knob? Okay, so yeah, we've got a problem, folks. There's no cold water coming out of any of the taps on this floor. I don't know if it's on other, other floors, but yeah, problem. When you have a criminally negligent slumlord who rents to large numbers of career criminals who have the psychotic need to contaminate water and tamper with the existing infrastructure, then all bets are off. It's one thing to not have any water at all. But there is hot water coming out of these taps, as you just saw. There's no cold water. Again, there's no cold water, okay? For these retards who watch my channel don't understand what I'm saying. This is hot water, blazing, boiling hot. You can't stick your hand under there for more than a few seconds without it starting to burn, okay? So then this is, loop. Nah, that's hot. Cold, no cold water, no cold water. See that? No cold water. Again, there's no cold water, not just to this unit, but to the common bathrooms on the fourth floor of this building. And they don't believe me when I call them and tell them this because they sit in the office and they refuse to investigate and fact check what's going on in their own building. They rent to large numbers of career criminals who claim to be structural engineers and IT experts who um, have this compulsive psychotic need to destroy and tamper with the existing infrastructure of this building as they have admitted to doing in writing on social media. I'm talking about Irizarry, the psycho scum psychopath who has this compulsive urge to contaminate the water supply and has bragged about doing so several times on social media and the violent psycho thug directly below 76 who takes it upon himself to slam things against this door rods and sticks that he breaks and then leaves in the hallway outside my door you can see the dents on the front of this door from that psycho thug below when he came up to my door a few times over the last two years where's that dent yeah see that dent right there that's from a rod and a stick a metal stick or some kind of a it was a metal rod that he was repeatedly slamming against his door and uh, dropped the pieces on the floor in front of my door. Let me know that that's what he was doing and that's what he was using. See that dent right there? That's from the psycho thug directly below in 76, and that's a fact. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, so the knob off, on, and this is hot water. It's not cold. This is a cold water knob. This is a hot water knob. So again, there's only hot water. There's no cold water. Wow, that's hot. Jesus. Okay, no hot water. See, off. Uh, no, this is hot. That's hot water. There's no cold water. The water that's coming out of the cold water knob is hot. Jesus. All right, so I don't know what's going on. Can't use the water. It's 11.15 on a uh, Wednesday. What the fuck? Can't use the water. 